Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Liberty Lady Liz here. Thanks for 77 subscribers. Please give me 20k subscribers. New videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. Today is a very exciting video. As you can see, I have my backpack here. Monday, I start my first my first day of my junior year of high school. I'll be in 11th grade and I'm so excited. Um, so today I'm going to be doing a a popular what's in my backpack video as you can see i am not in my room i am in somewhere you haven't seen in a lot of my vlogs i am in my mom's room the reason is because is she has the only tv that's working in the house because or in the condo because last friday the tv downstairs broke that's connected to my ps4 so yeah it well, it broke before we had like this huge thunderstorm and it rained and poured. It was just nasty. So, yeah, so that broke. So the only TV I can watch is up here, which is why I'm in my mom's room. But before I watch TV, I'm just gonna give you a little, what's in my backpack? Okay, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go in my main section and then this section and I'll explain a little bit to you. So, as we go along. So I went school supply shopping yesterday for two things, for a, a planner for my homework and for a calculator. Um, I don't really have to get school supplies because they provide for us, but yes. So first things first, I have a calculator. This is for, I'm not gonna be having algebra this year, I'm gonna be taking geometry and I'm a little nervous. So I got myself a calculator because I'm probably gonna have to calculate length times width times height and then do other advanced stuff in geometry. So I have a, this calculator. Sexist Instruments is the kind we use at school and it's, and it's a really good brand of calculator. It's a scientific calculator, but it's really good. So yeah, so I have this calculator. Then next, next up we have this binder. This, the one that my English teacher last year in 10th grade gave me, it ripped at the end of the year. So I just, on the last day of school or at the end of the year, I I set this up. Black isn't my first choice, but it was the only color of binder I had. Um, so yeah, so at my school, because we have le learning disabilities, they want us to have binders and I have it. I have tab dividers. I have history, math, lit slash ELA, because we have um, English two times a day. And then we have and i have science and then in the, in the back just in case i need to take notes i have lined paper so this is my binder and then once i get my schedule on the first day of school i'm gonna or whenever i get it on the first week of school i'm gonna put it in here and that way i know what all my classes are so yeah so i'm gonna have this i put my schedule in the front page in the front of my binder, I put it in here every year. So that's where my, I put my schedule. And then, um, and then I have this planner to write down my homework. Um, so I don't, I'm not gonna start homework till September. I don't start in my school. We don't start homework till the second week of school. So, um, like let's say 28th, for example, let's say 28th, which is Monday, they give me my first ever assignment. I can, I write my subjects all down here in order that they are on my schedule. And then I write down for each subject what I have to do or for a couple subjects what I have to do for homework. So this is my assignment, my assignment notebook as I used to call it in elementary school, but now we call it planners. Next is my pencil case and I have pencils and pens in here. I'm gonna need this for school to write for tests and homework and schoolwork. And then um, these I got at a grocery store in a town near me where I live in Massachusetts. And um, the reason why I have earplugs are for um, fire drills. They're orange, um, but yes. The reason why I have them are for fire drills. Um, we have three fire drills a school year, even though the state mandated mates four, but we, we do three and then we do three Alice drills. No, not three, three fire drills and one Alice drill. An Alice drill is a 
lock down Joe while you barricade, lock and barricade the doors and pull down the shoes and turn off the lights and hide. Anyway, so these are for fire drills. And the reason why I have these for fire drills is because when the fire, when you hear the fire alarm at my school, it is really, really loud. And once you hear that first beep, it's going to scare you no matter what you're doing. No matter if you're taking a test in the middle of taking notes for homework in the middle of reviewing homework, it's going to scare you. So it's best to have these. And, um, yeah, so it's, you know, it is what it is, but, you know, it just scares you because when you, when you have a fire drill in school, nobody's expecting it. Nobody's expect. I used to get warnings for my whole freshman year and the beginning of last year, my sophomore year, but towards the end, I did not get a warning. The last fire drill, I did not get a warning. I did not know what was happening. So yeah, I used to get a five minute heads up for fire drills, but I don't have to anymore. Or they decide not to give it to the people who got warned. So yeah, so these are for fire drills. So when I hear the first beep of the fire alarm, I, I make sure to wear pants with pockets like jeans to school just in case we have a fire drill because you never know when we're gonna have a fire drill. I mean, it, it happens. They're gonna happen. You, 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 there's, it's unavoidable. You can't avoid your way around it. So I always have these and these, the section of my bag. It's right here. And of course it's purple. I got this from LL Bean and I've had this since, I, this will be my seventh school year. I've had this, I've had this since the fourth grade and it's worked up perfectly. So yeah, so these I use for fire drills. Um, okay, next up I have two lanyards. All right, so these lanyards have some explaining to do. I'm not gonna show you the name of the school I go to because it has a name, but this is a blue lanyard and blue and green are my school colors. So I have this lanyard for my badge. And I also have this Patriots lanyard for my badge. And um, the reason why I have two lanyards is because um, they might want everybody to have the school lanyard or they might want you to have your own. It's okay if you have your own, but, but sometimes they just might want you to wear the school lanyard. So these lanyards, you put your badge to this part if it's a school lanyard or to this part, yeah, my school colors are blue and green or to this part if it's the Patriots lanyard. So these lanyards, you have them, you put them around your neck and you have badges, which I don't have my badge right now because I, they're redoing them for all the staff and students on campus for the middle schoolers and the high schoolers. So, um, yeah, so I'll get my badge back th this coming week because I'll be starting school on Monday. So hopefully I'll get it back then, but I'll get it back. And you use it to get in the middle school and in the high school. You put it, what you do is you put your badge with your face. It'll say your face, it'll show your face It'll say your first name and your last name and underneath it, it'll say English teacher, teacher, history teacher, student. And then you just put it up to the door and that's how they know that you're a part of the school. The reason why we have to have badges is because it's on a, what, my school is on a main road and there's traffic lights and there's people that whiz by the school going this way and going that way. And they just want us to be safe. So that's why they have badges. And we cannot let anybody into the school who's not a staff or student with a badge. They have to ring the buzzer to the high school if you're like taking a tour or something. Because we have language-based learning disabilities and they want us to keep us they want to keep us safe. Last but not least, I have some lip gloss, Justice lip gloss. I do not still shop there because Justice went out of business like when I was in seven se no, eighth grade. Seventh or eighth grade. Um so I have this lip gloss, it's peach. And then I have this grape lip gloss, it's purple, it's my favorite color. I have it just in case my lips get dry. And that's all I have for what's in my backpack for back to school. I know it's not that much, but um, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for 77 subscribers. Please give me to 1K subscribers. New videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I will see you guys in my next video.
vlog or video. Bye!